All right, there we go. I have my mandrel in place, just a big half inch bolt. And uh, right there you'll see the switch. That's going to be the main power for the whole thing. I uh, haven't quite gotten it uh, motorized yet. Still waiting on that motor to come. All the rest of the uh, mechanics should be going together within the week. saw blade today. These things are tiny. Point zero one zero thickness. All right, there we are. The arbor is in place. It all seems to be lined up perfectly. I've got a uh, power switch here for the motor and a place to uh, to mount the uh, the pipe. It should all come together rather quickly from there on. Waiting on the motor. That's about it. You'll Thank notice you. here that I painted the tips of my uh, mandrels bright orange so that I don't bump into them and when they're sticking up out of the hole people see them. So nobody else trips over them. Uh, I put a big red button. First step, turn on the main power. Check my speed switch. I'm going to set it in low for now. Okay. It's all locked in place on both ends. Let's try it out. Okay. Got my wire. Put it in the hole in the mandrel. Start her up. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. I painted this white. Just spray painted it white before I painted the tip orange. Uh, when I put it in and I tightened it down, you can see where it scrubbed as I spun it. Um, I, right here, took a punch and punched a little divot. I'm just going to drill a hole through that's just slightly smaller than the diameter of the set screw. I'm probably going to use my Dremel to point the tip of this, the set screw. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to drill all the way through. I'm just going to make a divot. You know, eighth of an inch deep tops. So, all right, let's try this one more time. Hmm. So, I'll show you guys the process here. There's three bolts back here. Pretty much, just loosen them and tighten them, and the whole motor. actually slides. I am loosening that. Since I cut all the bolt holes as slots to loosen or tighten, I just loosen these and the whole thing will slide down. Oh yeah. Alright. Let's try high speed. <laughs> okay, I got the spring all wound. So now, we take our clippers and we cut it off there. That pop you just heard was the spring relaxing its tension. Um, turn it around. Cut that piece off. So then we have a spring that's loose on there. And then we just pull out the little... That much is waste. Can't be avoided. Scrap. Okay. So, put that there. Loosen that. Really loosen that. It's got to be able to, to drop this out. There we go. Loosen this one. And slide the spring out. Just like that. And this should fit easily right back into place. And there's your spring. This one's a little floppy because it's so long. So there it is. That's spring winding. 
Easy peasy. Now, I know not everybody that watches this video is going to have one of these or be able to get one or make one. But the principle is sound. This is how you make rings. You get a mandrel. Find a way to turn that mandrel. And wind some springs out of wire. Now, you know, depending on the wire you use, you may need more or, or, or less torque. I mean, the wire might be softer. But, um, that's the basic principle. That's the design. That's That should be what you're after. So, there you go. So here's how I had to modify my rod. I drilled the hole out just a little bigger because it was so tight putting the wire in. And if I ever use bigger wire, I'll need it bigger anyway. Um, I don't think you can even see that or not. I'll try to hit it in the light just right. Just a divot. That's all. A divot. Used, the, used a, a tiny drill. Same one I drilled that out with to start the hole. Went down about an eighth of an inch, and then used a larger bit, the same size as this, just to ream it out. And you see all the scuffs and marks on here are where I spray painted it white before. The rest of it's just a plain, uh, I think this is a hot rolled steel rod. Uh, I did cut it shorter. It was three feet long. I cut it down to just a little over two feet, two and a half feet around, around there. Um, I wanted some hanging out in the end to function essentially as a handle um, so that like you saw whenever I, I clip the spring uh, I can loosen these and then hold the spring and pull it off uh, without a handle if I wound the spring from one end of here to the other where would I grab it so just minor consideration uh, that seems to be working just fine as for the spool, the spool here has a tendency to want to walk around on you. Um, it moved from here to there as it was turning, which isn't really a big deal. Um, just, you know, something to be aware of because the diameter of my spool here is large enough so that with my foot on the pedal here, it interferes. Um, Get a smaller spool. If you've got one like this, cut it down. Uh, the typical spools that you'll find at the hardware store or at the Home Depot or Home Improvement Center, uh, if you buy a whole spool, and I definitely recommend buying a whole spool, uh, you can get 14 or 16 gauge galvanized or stainless steel wire that's uh, electric fence wire. And... Um, it comes in quarter mile, half mile, and mile spools that I've seen. Now, a mile of this stuff will make a lot of armor. Um, definitely not a bad thing if you wanted to do that. I definitely recommend buying it on a spool. Save you the trouble of having to spool it. You can buy it from uh, theringlord.com. Uh, I'll put a link in the sidebar when I talk. You know, I'll put a link in the sidebar for theringlord.com. But um. That's where I actually bought this wire. Now, like I said, this is just, uh, I think this is 14 gauge, uh, no, this is 16 gauge. <sighs> Galvanized steel wire. It came as a hoop of wire, and I found the spool. A friend of mine who worked at a window shop got it for me. Um, could have trimmed it down, but I didn't really care that much. Uh, as a storage option for wire, it was handy while it lasted. But yeah, I would definitely buy it on the spool from the home center if you can. Um, if you can't, you can actually buy it on the spool. And the ringlord.com actually sell blank spools, which is cool. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much my machine here. Um, as I get into more discussions about making and weaving the chain mail we'll, we'll go back to it um, when I talk about cutting rings we'll go back to it um, but yeah that's that's my machine Darcy stands yep if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them